You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Time now for The John and Heidi Show (laughs) bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Welcome to my world, Dan. (laughs) Tell you what, you think things are crazy out there. (laughs) You know, gosh darn it, just uh, congratulations, by the way, to to both of you and, uh, well, I guess myself. Apparently, we're, we're essential. We are. <laughs> I never thought of myself as essential. Well, but, for the first uh, time, really, in, in the past couple of weeks, you keep hearing that essential, essential, non-essential yeah. businesses, yeah. and and it wasn't until uh, like uh, this morning. I mean, uh, okay, well, I'm going to work. I must be essential. essential. Then I had an interesting conversation with my son uh, Luke the other day. Is he, he essential thought, as well? Uh, apparently not. He just got laid off, and, oh, unfortunately, no. but he he uh, lives and was working in Portland, Oregon. Oh, yeah, but they I'm had a little stuff out there. Talking to him, I said, okay, uh, things are getting pretty tight in your neck of the woods. What's going on? He goes, yeah, yeah, pretty much everything is uh, shut down. He goes, what's interesting is uh, all the marijuana dispensaries are open. <laughs> <laughs> what? And You're thought, probably making bank right now. Uh, yeah, and all the liquor stores here are advertising. It's yeah. like, let me see, we're in big trouble, America, but hey, as long as you're buzzed up and stumbling around, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> He thought that was fascinating. He was alive. He goes, well, the marijuana dispensaries are all. They but. apparently were essential as well. Yeah. What's going on today? Doris Day would have had a birthday. Marlon Brando. Eddie Murphy is okay. 59 today. I like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Birth name? Edward Reagan Murphy. Really? Oh. I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah. And also, and I know how you guys, uh, you know, you crazy kids love your mobile devices. Yeah. It was this day in 1973. Mm-hmm. It's what, a year or two before you two were born, wasn't it? A year before I was born, yeah. The very first mobile phone call was made. Really? Nice. In 73? Yep. Yeah. In downtown Manhattan, New York City, by Motorola employee yep. Martin Cooper, placed a call to Bell Laboratory headquarters in New Jersey. That's really? awesome. Yeah. yeah, and the phone wow. was about the size of a, well... A tool Carbetter. shed. Yeah, it's huge. Big, big phones back then. Yeah, no kidding. And we, uh, I didn't get my first mobile phone until... 2000. Well, that was the very first one ever, Heidi. It's not like everybody had them then. It was the first. I like know. The inventor. It's crazy. Why My very first so run-in with it, I was over at some uh, friends' apartments in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, Dave Zemanski and uh, Stu the Jew Layman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? That was his name. These were my friends. <laughs> All right. His name was Stu and he was Jewish. <laughs> you so you figure out a better nickname. Because <laughs> that's what we rolled with. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> so up in the apartment, well, everybody had a landline, of course, back then, and the phone rang, yeah. and uh, and Zimmy picks it up. He goes, "You're what now? You're what?" Because we were waiting for for Stewie's big brother to show up. Yeah, and it turns out his big brother was calling from the parking lot, ah. had a cell phone in his car. And we were just blown away by that. <laughs> Went down to look, and he had giant antennas <laughs> on the car, and this phone thing took up half the front seat. Yeah, and, but yeah, you could make I phone calls those. from it if you were within, like, I don't know, 50 feet of them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a walkie-talkie. Yeah, screw the Jew's older brother, man. He was all that and a side of fries. So. <laughs> That's wow. fantastic. There you go. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Well, obviously, because I just, just actually yeah. shared that. And I remember, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a cell phone, but it was through like a CB radio. Correct, yeah. There was some sort of thing you could connect to a CB where you people could call, and then you could talk to them on a CB. When I was a little kid, my dad had one of those, and then he got a, an actual cell phone. So. Crazy. I miss CB radios. Those were so cool. I do, too. There we are people that still CB have them. Hide should, and we, seek. should we all get CB radios? They're coming back. We'll need some nifty handles. We could talk to each other even during quarantine. It would be fantastic. Almost like a radio. Oh, I guess we have that, too. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Now, more than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. Easy. I'm Ranger Dan. 
Well, I love to wrestle bears in a lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. You see? I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Well, good morning there, old Smalls, you great old married unit, you. Which, uh, <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you what. Righty. Yes. Uh, I'm seeing some highlights in that beautiful mane of yours, yeah, or is yes. that, that what's going on right. over there? <laughs> right. All the salons are closed. <laughs> Say what you like. I don't know what you've been doing, but uh, you got to remind me of a parking ticket because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. You know, this kind of crossed, uh, crossed my uh, desk the other day. I've been noticing, spending a little time around, jumping around them, them interwebs there, and uh, I've noticed that a lot of... I guess you call them A-list celebrities, A-listers. Is that yeah. what they are? Sure, sure. Yeah. Like Jennifer Gardner, Amy Adams, Chris Pratt, Arnold Schwarzenegger, a whole bunch of them are uh, spending time on social media, kick back reading children's books. Oh, nice. Okay. Something to keep all the little kitties engaged while well, I guess they're stuck at home uh, waiting for this whole thing to kind of blow over and get the heck out of here. And I thought that was a pretty darn good idea. As you know, I've, I've put together a couple children's books. Yes, you have. Yeah past couple months or so and shelter in place i just want to announce now available on the ranger dan youtube channel for just 12.95 a month you can get engaged and i've uh you know, sat back and the old <laughs> well, i'm sheltering in place with oh well, what's her name that won that contest a while back <laughs> not sure where she got off to but I'm, I'm sure i'll stumble over eventually <laughs> But you do, you punch up the Ranger Dan channel, and uh, you got your selections going on. Of course, we uh, fired up our uh, bestseller from a few months back, the uh, Ranger Dan's Cute Little Curious Critters in the Electric Fence. <laughs> we'll also be doing, and I think this is, uh, well, it's an educational pop-up book, really, and How to Spank a Porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's available on Amazon Prime, too, and uh, that comes com- complete with a nifty little first aid kit <laughs> <laughs> also be reading the story and uh boy i tell you what this is pretty interesting too it's all about the very last dinosaur in the whole wide world bruce the brontosaurus a little thing entitled all my friends are dead <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> This is a new release. You can get involved in the adventures of little Brenda, who finds and adopts a beaver whose magical fur grows up to a foot a week. Oh. In Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. (laughs) (laughs) It's on the Ranger Dan YouTube channel. Books for the kids, nearly the whole entire family, but you engage the kids for a couple hours while I read to them from the fantastical books we put together, and that gives you, Mom and Dad, a little more time to slip out to the garage, down to the basement, out to the shed, crank back another bottle of Chardonnay, a couple shots of Fireball to keep things moving, if you know what I mean. Well, that's it for tonight. Radio Rangers, you know the drill. What doesn't kill you just makes you stronger, except for bears. Bears will kill you every time. And hey, by the way, unless you're Ozzy Osbourne, don't be eating bats. This is Ranger Dan out. <laughs> Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. Introducing InsuranceChicken.com. <laughs> Why InsuranceChicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio right Right now what do you have over there you look like you're uh really working hard on this news what's that what's oh yeah well uh you know mentioned a couple days ago that uh as far as i could tell all the public parks in sioux falls had been shut down didn't have all the information now i have the details about what that actually means okay all right from uh my good buddy ray yost over at uh kello i've never met in my life nice <laughs> uh when it comes to our park areas in the city right now this is how they're throwing down Although, nice change in the weather. You probably don't care today, but right. things are going to break real nice weather-wise next week, as a matter of fact, starting Good. Sunday. Uh, public can't play basketball. Kids can't play on playground equipment. And other facilities are off limits. But the public still has limited use of city parks. Okay. Here's what is off limits. No use of playground equipment, 
basketball courts, shelter houses, or benches. I was not going to use any of those anyway. Or dog parks and no organized games on athletic fields. Ooh, what about disorganized games? Yeah, that would be okay because it just says organized. <laughs> or social gatherings at the park. Users must maintain proper social distancing on bike and walking trails, which are open, and on all park property areas that are not closed to the public. For example, if you, John, or you, Heidi, would like to bring a lawn chair and eat lunch or read a book in the park, that's fine. Wow. As long as, if you're with somebody else, you're at least six feet away. Also recommended staying away from any common surface areas, such as railings, fencing, whatever else you stumble across in parks. Okay. So that uh, that's what they're doing right now. And apparently this was all based on the number of people were getting together while the kids aren't in school, older kids and whatnot, and there were... Kids are being kids, yeah. There were rogue basketball games breaking out all over the city. They didn't you know, sound like they were organized, thing. though. So uh, there you go. Man, this is, this is just... It's bizarre. Apparently we're just stuff. all going to completely ignore the fact that all of this is a direct violation of everybody's First Amendment rights. Well, you can do what you like. But no, you can't because they won't let you. Well, we're all going to just be calm. Take a deep breath, Heidi. You need some more coffee. <laughs> I, I just I am seeing rights being stripped and stripped and stripped and stripped. And nobody is saying anything or doing anything oh, about it. I wouldn't say nobody's saying anything. If you've not been on Facebook or Twitter or any social media, a lot of people are saying a lot of things. But uh, again, Coming up here in a moment, instead of trying to talk about the negative, we're going to talk about something positive. How's that sound? We've got Dean Karski. He's a county commissioner, and you hear him on Sunny Radio. In, in addition to that, he's with uh, Farmers. He's a farmer's insurance agent. But we're going to talk to him about you, – Dan, you actually sent this over to me. Uh, it's the One Sioux Falls Fund. Is that what it's called? Yeah, this fund that started a few weeks ago is just growing in leaps and bounds. Another the, million bucks put in by uh, T. Uh, Danny T. Sanford. T. Danny Sanford. Yeah, and it's, it, it's interesting. My question was, what exactly is this – fund for and yeah. so I've, and I've known Dean for a long time yeah. Dean, Dean's a great guy and he happens to be a uh, county commissioner as yeah. well and uh, he's going to break that down for us so. we're going to go through that coming up in just a moment thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show bonus hour with Dan Ferris anybody else about ready for a vacation this October we're going to Cancun for an amazing event called the Sands awesome music from Billy Idol Belinda Carlisle Cheap Trick and so many more this event happens at the end of October so when everything blows over we're all going to need a vacation so join Join us for this one. We've been to this event the last three years, met some amazing people, and it is so much fun. Get all of the information and get your spot reserved to join us at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Thank you for listening. We've got a pretty cool guest joining us right now. He is the uh, vice chairman of the Minnehaha County Commission. It's uh, a person you hear quite often because in addition to that, he also is an insurance agent. We've got Dean Karski joining us. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. We're excited to have you on the program. We're going to talk a little bit about something that uh, has been kind of in the news over the last several days here, the One Sioux Falls Fund. And we just read that T. Danny Sanford earlier this week donated a million dollars to that. That's pretty darn cool. That is fantastic, yes. That is really cool. So for people that are seeing this and they're hearing about the One Sioux Falls Fund, what is the fund for? What is that money? Because I'm seeing it's Minnehaha, Lincoln, McCook, and Turner Counties, but what what are the funds actually going to go towards? It's going to go to help people who are having a tough time with making rent payments because of loss of income, jobs because of the COVID-19 virus. So it's to help people out there that are in a tough place at this time. And I guarantee you there are some people listening that are in that tough place. So if there is a, a situation where they're saying, hey, I really would like to get some help with this, do you know, how do I go about getting that help? You bet. You call the Helpline Center or go online to helplinecenter.org because they're right here in Sioux Falls, and they will get you the forms you need to um, request the assistance. The turnaround time, I understand, is probably about 10 days. They're working to try, try to get that done a little bit quicker, but it always takes time to do paperwork. So um, go to the Helpline Center um, online and request that assistance. Now, if there's somebody listening that's been very blessed and they're saying, hey, you know what, I would like to contribute to this because I know there are some people who do need some help, even if they don't want to put a million dollars in it, if they want to say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to make a contribution, how do they go about doing something like that? You bet. And Sioux Falls is just a tremendous history of being so generous when it comes to times like this. Um, you go to the Sioux Falls Community Foundation, and that's where the money is routed through. They, are, they take care of the um, financial part. They are the conduit. 
to make sure this money gets to the place that it needs to go. And the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation has a website. It's sfacf.org, and that stands for Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation. Dot org. So if, you, uh, if you'd like to get the info, we'll throw a link to all of this on our Facebook page as well. Mr. Karski, thank you so much for taking the time to visit with us and, and uh, help get the, the word out about this fund. And I know there are people that are in need right now, so thank you for helping us get the word to them. You bet. I appreciate the call. Thank you. Again, Dean Karski right there, and he is with the Minnehaha County Commission. And again, if you'd like more information on what we've been talking about here today, it is the One Sioux Falls Fund. All of the details on our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Now, more than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. The celebrities are fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, this is so random. It has nothing to do with anything except I stumbled across this. So when, huh, I'll be darned. I guess I didn't know that. Uh, celebrities who have never been married. Oh. Like ever. Some of these may surprise you. Some may not. All right. And we can speculate as to why they've never been married, having no information at our disposal whatsoever. <laughs> We're good at so, that. Just shooting from the hip. We uh, love to make decisions based on no information. And I guess I did know this. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio never okay. has never, never been married. Probably uh, because he hadn't won an Oscar. I'm sure that's why. And I've never been clear how to pronounce her name, even though she's pretty darn famous. Charlize Theron? Oh, yeah. Theron? I didn't uh, know she's never been married either. Never been married. I think she's adorable, though. Adorbs? Yeah. That's so what the is kids Leo. say, John. By the way, even though he's won an Oscar now, he's still not married. So I was probably wrong on my assumption. This one surprised me. Of course, everybody knows him huge from Friends, but he's been around a long time, done other things. Matthew Perry has oh. never been married. Single yeah. dude. Huh. That kind of surprised This one did, too, from Mad Men, John Hamm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never married. Okay. Owen Wilson has never been married. Not as shocked about that. But he was in Wedding Crashers. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's just, I don't know, he's a weird dude. Tyra like Banks. Him. Tyra Banks. Okay. Nope. Isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah. At least, oh man, I've been, oh, I've been crushing on her for years. Lee, uh, Lucy Liu. Oh yeah. It's never been married. Hmm. Matt Dillon. Okay. Oh, really? And I know Heidi's a big fan and now she's going, wow, see, isn't that weird? It's like, you yeah. just assumed you know, a lot of these actors are now in their 40s, 50s, right. pushing 60s, and you just go, huh, Winona Ryder. Okay. Never been married. In fact, her last real serious relationship, she was actually engaged in the early 90s to Johnny Depp. Okay, yeah. Which I had forgotten about. Edward Scissorhands, yep. And this is the one that kind of blew me away. He's now in his 80s. He's got three children from okay. various relationships. Al Pacino's never been married. Really? Yeah. He's been a Mrs. Pacino. Yeah, he was asked recently... Uh, if you ever plan it, he goes, well, you know, you never say never. <laughs> wow. Of that's course, interesting. Uh, Oprah Winfrey, who's uh, been oh, with yeah. Stedman for 30 years. And again, I wake up every morning and I go, A, I'm waking up in the greatest country in the world. That's I'm right. I'm so, so thankful. B, I'm thankful my parents didn't name me Howie. <laughs> and, and, and C, I'm not Howie Stedman. Thinks. There you go. I just That's go, right. I'm good, man. It's all very good. Yeah, so there you go. Well, Dan, thank you for coming in. You have big plans for the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me guess. Sitting home watching reruns? Well, the weather-wise of what's going on again, it's, uh, you know, I'm going to put on my favorite pair of boxer shorts, draw the shades. Uh, Work on your manifesto. Clean the guns. guns. Yeah, I have to update the manifesto. That's kind of a, the never-ending story. <laughs> it sounds like you've got quite the volume going there. <laughs> be fantastic. And well, uh, hey, if you're listening to this, seriously, man, you're more than welcome. Stop over, see what it gets you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I will encourage everybody to stay safe out there. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. It's a tough time, but we will get through this together. If you have the means, we encourage you to participate in the gift card challenge. That's a simple thing you can do to help people around you. Just buy a gift card from one of your favorite local businesses. 
then use it when things get back to normal. Or be a rock star and give it to someone working on the front lines to keep us safe. Either way, when you buy the gift card, post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge. Learn more at giftcardchallenge.org.